Round two. In the red corner, we have this, which is Mara Sauter and Mosaic 3.9% weighing in at. It's like half a bottle. Look at that. I'm guessing this is bottled off the keg. Well, then again, no, it's not because there's a whole pile of crap in the bottom. Hmm. Marks down. Marks down there. And then in the blue corner we have Mara Sauter, Citra and London Fog Ale Yeast, 4.3%. So I kind of figured there's Mosaic in this, there's Citra in this, FIGHT! doesn't actually say the yeast in this, that's the second bottle I've had without saying the yeast. Um, but yeah, London Fog Ale Yeast, I recognise that because I've been researching, uh, doing a New England IPA at some point and that is one of the yeasts that um, has been recommended on the internet oh it smells nice it doesn't smell, it smells more like mosaic than citra though oh, it's definitely looking like a New England IPA it is a Merc bomb it is very much a Merc bomb. It doesn't say on these bottles whether they're bottle conditioned or off the keg. I think maybe that's something we should kind of introduce because you could easily chuck all the shit in the bottom into it. I know you get a little bit of shit in the keg, but um, if you condition in the beer for long enough, you don't generally get that much. And then the other one is over here. Now there's quite a lot of headspace there, so this could explode in my in my face. So everybody watching. It smells very similar to that actually. Mm. It smells quite nice as well. This is a Battle Royale, this one. I'm trying to pick beers which are similar to each other. Yeah, it's definitely but more lively. There we go, look at that. It's looking good. Still a bit of chill is in there. Big old head on it. Where's the Merc bomb? That is murky as hell. Not a massive amount of head on it. But that could be disguise. That could be a disguise. I mean, it could be that this is more carbon than this. Who knows? But I mean, in terms of appearance, this one looks a lot more grey. I know it looks gay, but it does actually look grey here as well. Whereas this one's kind of nice and bright. It's not a huge aroma of it at all. Which is a surprise because there's citron and it is a monster. There's not an awful lot. There was more in the bottle than there is in the glass. There's a nice taste on it though. It's not really sharp citra though. Citra that cuts through anything. Cuts through metal. Cuts through bullshit. Cuts through something else. It's kind of, it's a low carbonation as well. Maybe that's what the deal is here. And that's why the the flavour is not so quite so sharp. However, it's more it's more kind of a maybe not a full flavour, I was gonna say a full flavour to it, but it's a different kind of flavour. It's kinda of like weak kind of fruit juice. 
almost. Not really intense fruity, but still fruit juice nonetheless. A little bit of like, uh, it tastes like there's a little bit of apple in there, and there's a little bit of grapefruit, and there's a little bit of um, like uh, something else. Let me, it'll come to me. maybe pear or something like that but it doesn't taste like a classic citra taste which is a surprise now what's doing that I don't know it's Morris Otter and the London Fog Ale Yeast so yeah that's a bit of a surprise that ok I want to be this, the mosaic again Morris Otter don't know what the yeast is It is different to that one. I think there is more carbonation in this one, which is not a surprise. It's not. It's not really clean. I mean, this is this one's not clean, but there is definitely something that's different about this. It's quite nice. Sorry, I forgot I was doing this one. It does have a bit of a fruity taste to it. But again, I don't know what the yeast is. I'm not sure that it's... I mean, it's 3.9%. It doesn't taste like a 3.9% beer. It tastes like bigger, which is good. But I don't, whatever the yeast is in this, I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's really bringing the most out of that mosaic. I mean, it tastes like, it does have a fruity taste to it, but, you know, with a mosaic beer, I want to be assaulted with intense crazy fruit but that's not that is not quite there back to this one the kind of very low carbonation fruit juice that doesn't taste of citra this is a tough one We've got a beer that's light on mosaic, and we've got a beer that doesn't taste like citra. So, I'm going to have to make a decision, because we're over 9 minutes now. I would say, on this tasting, that I'm going to go for the, the citra. I'm a bit, I'm a bit confused. Got two beers that are not what I thought they were going to be. But you know, that's how it goes. How do you like them? Potatoes.